Well, hello there. It is me, Noel, on my YouTube channel, bringing you a new video. Um, the 100 to 16 review is here. Is here. Da, 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 cheer, da, da, cheer. I don't know. But let's jump on in because it was. A, I don't know what. I feel like I'm in shock from the episode. I don't know if I've said this about an episode before, but I feel like I'm in shock. So I'm not really sure what to feel because, like, I don't know. Like, what I expected to happen wasn't as bad. Wait, what I expected to happen was way worse than what really happened. Like, honestly, the stuff I thought was going to happen didn't happen. And it was like, it wasn't as like, I, I don't think it was that crazy. Like, I love it. But I don't, like, the stuff, like, expect the unexpected, you would never see it coming. I was like, thinking something big, but then little things. But, really good episode when, um, Clark shot the president. Hello, um, yeah, sorry, I don't care. You know why? Because you brought it on yourself. And also, you gave Clark now the idea, so she left, which makes no sense. She's gonna go out there on her own, and if she goes and stays with Alexa, uh, and why didn't Bellamy go with her? Like, oh, oh my god. And the, the end scene with, oh my god, I'm getting all smiley. Um, with Bellamy and Clark, oh my god. He was, like his, oh my god, Bob Morley. Jeez Louise, I praise him. He's a freaking amazing actor. Like, legit. You cannot just be like, oh, I like him because he's hot. You have to like his acting. Like, there's no way you hate it. There is no way. Like, it is just amazing. And he conveys his emotions with his eyes. You know, and it's just so awesome. Like, because his face was just like begging her to stay. And I was like, oh my god. And then she kissed him on the cheek and hugged him. And he touched her hair. Oh my god. It was the most perfect moment. Honestly, I'm gonna be totally honest. I thought the big Ballard moment was the moment where they decide to kill all those people. And they put both their hands, both their hands, on the um, pulley, you know? And so I was thinking, okay, that's Polly. I guess this is the big Polaric moment. I hope not, but I was thinking it was, you know? I didn't think we'd get another big one. And that episode was, I mean, that part was really good. Like, they both take responsibility, and, like, they look at each other, and, oh, my God, the looks in these, in these, in this episode were just so amazing. Like, they were just... They expressed so much of what they don't say. Like, you love each other. They probably don't know they love each other yet, but they one day will realize. I feel like Bellamy is a little... Bellamy knows he has feelings for Clark, whereas Clark, she has feelings for Bellamy, but she doesn't know it. She doesn't acknowledge those feelings. She buries them deep down inside, you know. Especially after Finn. But, um... So, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm saying on that. I don't know what the hell I was just talking about. Anyways, and then, oh my god, okay. When I first read that the Balark reunion in this episode wasn't going to be as emotional as the hug in episode 5, I was like, oh, well that sucks. If it, isn't that the big Balark moment? I mean... Come on, if it's not going to be bigger, then why even have it, you know? Like, I was just, like, kind of like, that kind of sucks. But then I see it, and it's like, oh, well, thank you, Jason, because that was even awesomer. Because the, uh, the way they looked at each other, and when Clark saw Bellamy, she was, she was, uh, she legit gasped. She was like, <gasps> on her face, Eliza. I praise you. You are a goddess. Like, seriously, fucking, excuse my language. Amazing. Like, that's, she, she's perfect as Clark. Like, oh, I can, there's no way I can hate Clark. I could never hate Clark or Bellamy. Like, those two are my favorites. They are my 
end game couple and they're my favorites and they're my everything and I just love them and the actors are just tremendous and hello Hollywood watch out because they come in for you a lot of Australians are coming into the acting business and I like it because I love their accents yes everyone has a little everyone loves accents and I'm one of the girls who just loves accents Irish Scottish ooh. British, Australian, just any kind of accent. Mm. Well, probably not country. Mm. That's not really my kind of turn on. So anyways, moving on. So there was the way they looked at each other and Clark's face and just the, the words they exchanged just by looking at each other. Oh my God. Like Ballard, I, I, it it's legit like watching magic when these two are together in a scene, Bellamy and Clark, Bob and Eliza, when they have a scene together, it's magic. I don't know what it is. It it just fits perfectly. And it's like they know all the right ways to feel or look in that scene that I'm like, that's way better than any actor could ever do. Like, I, it's, I feel, I'm not saying it's coming from actually them. I'm not saying they actually love each other or something. But it's just like they have that chemistry that just clicks so perfectly and it's so rare. I don't think I've honestly ever seen chemistry click as good as this chemistry because it, it, it just blows my mind. And every scene, no matter how big or how small or if it's on a radio or if it's together, it is still so freaking amazing. Everyone loves it. Even people who don't shit blark are like, that was a cute little scene, like, whatever. Um, and then, Jaha, Jaha, he's saying that, Thelonious, okay, his, she's evil, crazy, she's cuckoo, you know, she's good to lock you in that house if you try and leave, and that was the missiles, right, so she has the launch codes, but she needed missiles, now she has them, but she needs him to put it back together, is that what they were, missiles, because that's crazy, that can't be his destination, I mean, his destiny, yeah, because that was crazy, like, I don't know, that's just weird. Murphy, though, ends up, I was like, Murphy better live. I was like, uh-uh, I'll come back for you. Uh, what? Uh, how dare you, Delonious? I was very sh upset. I don't want to talk to you anymore. No, but Murphy uh, lives, thankfully. Oh, and Richard is promoted to a series, rare, uh, series regular for season three. Yes! about freaking time um i love murphy and he gets in the house you know when he's just chilling i'm thinking dude do you not wonder if anybody else is in the house you know who could come out and kill you but he just legit just like eating getting his stuff and then he sees and watches the video and the guy just shoots himself and i'm like and murphy's like oh. and just that whole scene was like kind of like it was just crazy it was like you see him get shot, so I have my reaction. Then you see Murphy's, and it's just like, oh, what's going on? And then, yeah, so Delon Delonius, if that's his destiny, then wow. What's the missiles for, though? It depends on who the missiles are helping. Also, Cage got killed by Lincoln. Mm -hmm. oh, well, that was so good. That was revenge. What? It was awesome though. Yeah, he's freaking just needle. I was like, yes, cut off his hand. I was like, yes, Lincoln, favorite, love him. Um, Maya, mm, I'm not really sad about your death. I didn't really, f like, I don't know. I'm, s I, I, that's not very nice. But I was, I was kind of like, oh, that sucks, you know. Like she did do a lot for them and stuff, but I still didn't trust you. So I wasn't really that affected by your death. But sorry you died. Hashtags. Rest in peace, Maya. Um, so yeah, that was sad. And then Jasper. Ooh, Jasper seems like he's about to go a little crazy now. Because he's angry. And when she get, Raven gave him the goggles, it's like he just looks at them like a foreign object. Because it's like he doesn't even recognize that boy anymore. Like that boy he used to wear the goggles is gone. He's never coming back. He never can come back. He is gone. And Jasper knows it now. And Jasper is 
going to go, I think, honestly, heartless in a way. I think he's going to kind of shut off his emotions. Um, and why did Clark have to leave? Like, I don't understand what she was doing and stuff. And, f hello, uh, now Bellamy's forgiving Clark. Unlike when Clark was forgiving Bellamy by the tree. Parallels, oh my god. Come, these writers are telling us they are endgame. They are just keep telling us. But, I mean, even, like, why did she have to leave? Like, okay, she should, like, he should have, like, convinced her to, he, when he was trying to convince her, she should have said yes. And it's like, if not, go with her, Bellamy. Why didn't Bellamy go with her? They are separated again, which is stupid. Like, I want them together. Like, are they going to have scenes in season three together? No, because they're separated. Like, that sucks. Like, how, why are we always separating them? What is going on with this? Like, maybe he'll visit her in her secret place I don't like I don't understand her leaving like is so stupid because like where is she gonna go and she shouldn't leave and I, I wonder what Bellamy and that scene was crazy and amazing and the whole episode was awesome and none of my people died that I loved um Octavia was badass she like just threw that knife and then cut that guy and I was like I want to be her that was awesome Octavia praise you Although, back off Clark, okay? Like you said, everyone is counting on her. That is a lot to, like, that is a lot to hold up. That's a lot of weight. That's a burden, you know? That's a lot. You can't handle it all, and it just gets too much. And so, yeah. And then, oh my god, wait, trying to get them to not take Raven and take him instead. Cute. Sacrifice. Love. Oh, love that. And then, I totally saw, once she killed the president, I knew Cage was going to go get her mother. Which, I knew as soon as he found out it was Clark's mother, which I was like, fuck. That I knew something was going to happen with her. And then, Kane, oh my god, tried to protect her. He loves her. She loves him. Just admit it. Start getting together. Um, and then, him going over to Bellamy saying good job and stuff. Are you his father? I think you are. I hope he is. Like, a lot of people are saying he might be or hoping, and I want it to happen. I honestly believe that he's his father. Like, I want to believe it so well. Like, please. But he lived, and I love Kane, and Abby lived. And it's like all the people, I read a list of, like, people, they, I read this thing where, like, these two girls, they put their, like, uh, five most five characters they think will die you know and they had all of them and out of all of them i think yeah the only maya i think was the only right one because that was really the only big death um so that also you know the what's his name the uh lieutenant he's gone i feel like that could come back to bite them in the ass. I don't know. I'm just saying. He's gone with some explosives and he might have a hideout somewhere else or some hidden thing with ammo. So I don't know what's going on. We'll see. Um, and what else? Yeah, I just, I still don't, I don't agree with Clark leaving, which is stupid. I just don't agree with that. Like, nope, don't agree. But whatever, you know, that's the way it wants to go. That's, at least we got that really cute blur moment. When she kissed him on the cheek and then hugged and then they just exchanged looks and then him trying to convince her, which, oh my god, he was trying to convince her so bad. <sighs> what else? So much happened. I hate Cage, though, so I was super happy when he died, no offense, or when he got the shot. Like, at first I was like, oh my god, Lincoln, no, he is gonna die. They were right. They predicted it. But then he freaking fought through it and bam, what? Yeah, he did that. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I think that's it, really. Oh, I mean, I, you know, my heart, people survived, lived. I'm um, out, and people, re regardless if you were innocent or guilty of it, whatever, you know, I'm, this had to happen. I would have chose what they would have chose, to be honest. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it sucks this that the kids died, but it had to happen. And Cage didn't want to listen. He's such a fucking idiot. Just give up the people and they'll go away. Like, stop being so freaking stupid. Like, he's stubborn. And look at him. Now he's dead or with the drug. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, 
Ooh, the monster in the water? That is one thing I hate. Those things, to be honest, out of everything that freaks me out, that is one of them. Like, I get so freaked out by underwater creatures, like in Jurassic Park or in this. I always get super freaked out when there's those kind of things. And like, it was like, it, it was like a freaking, it was like in King Kong, they had those freaking things that were like, that would swallow them whole. And it was disgusting. And then Thelonious throws the boy overboard, which, I mean, okay, whatever. But I was like, holy shit. And Murphy's like, holy shit. Because Murphy's like, why would you do that? Like, Murphy's like, dude, that psycho, like, get away from me. I don't want to be with you anymore. Like, I can't believe you just did that. Stop justifying it. Whatever. So, yeah. That was a crazy scene, but hopefully more broom, more scenes with them because I love them together. Love them. Mm. So yeah, love this finale. Thankfully, it wasn't too cliff. There wasn't like a cliffhanger, really. So since there's a long wait, I can rest peacefully and just go over the Blark scenes over and over and over and over again. Talk about it on Twitter and just go go go. So yeah, um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoy this video, and yeah, I'm gonna go. Soon. Peace.